Hello, my name is Melissa Syracuse, and I'm here to talk about the CVS Pharmacy Operations and the potential for installing an automation fulfillment system. In introduction, the CVS Pharmacy in 2002 had a corporate revenue of $20 billion. That included 38 million pharmacy customers, but what was discovered after that revenue was calculated was that 7.2 million customers took their business elsewhere for a loss of $2.5 billion. The purpose of this project is to determine how we can regain that revenue and those customers. According to Grassi, one of the CVS executives, his statement said, we thought that a better fulfillment process in the pharmacies could prevent 60 to 90 percent of the customer defections that were due to service. As a corporation that desires to succeed, we need to be committed to doing what is right and honorable. We must set high standards for ourselves and aspire to meet these standards in all aspects of our organization and especially in service to our customers. Ethics is about making the best possible decisions concerning people, resources, and the environment. Ethics is the discipline of how to do it best to guide behavior and to help with tough decisions. We're going to talk about four main ethics. The first being responsibility. <clears throat> that is ownership of our behaviors and decisions and the consequences of these actions. Respect. Respect for ourselves and those around us. That also includes various resources entrusted to our care. That can include people, money, reputation, safety for others, and natural and environmental resources. Fairness is our duty to make decisions impartially and objectively without self-interest. This includes encouraging and valuing diverse perspectives. And lastly, honesty. Honesty is understanding the truth and being truthful in our words and actions. A little bit of background about CVS. As I mentioned, in 2002, the revenue was $24 billion. That was an increase from $20 billion in 2000. What was discovered, though, is that two-thirds of that revenue came from the pharmacy. But an additional 2.5 was lost because of pharmacy customers taking their business elsewhere. So the objective of this project is to resolve the customer retention and lost revenue by correcting pharmacy workflow. An alternative to what I'm going to recommend today is by hiring additional technicians. Currently, a technician covers more than one workstation. This leaves many times a workstation unattended and causes long wait times for customers. We can hire additional technicians to cover those additional workstations to hopefully reduce customer wait time. We can also hire additional employees for the peak busy times. My recommendation today, though, is to obtain a pharmacy automation system. A pharmacy automation system will allow a single technician to fulfill what currently two to three technicians are doing. This will free up technicians to handle additional customer service or even provide additional clinical services. This is preferred over hiring additional technicians The solutions, benefits, and limitations of an automated system. First and main thing is a single operator can fulfill up to 120 prescriptions per hour. A single automated tower can handle up to 1,800 stock bottles in a small footprint of 15 square feet. This will free up considerable space savings within the pharmacy. 
The systems also maintain inventory, which will reduce the on-hand inventory up to 30%. And it is proven return on investment for many vendors of up to 12 months. Reduced medical errors are one of the benefits. Increased patient safety. I already mentioned that it saves considerable space. Some of the limitations of the system are that it can only dispense 60 to 80 percent of the medications, which is a huge amount, but it still allows a large percentage that will be done under the current workflow. There are system downtimes where there could be breakdowns or software problems. The estimated budgetary cost for this project is under $170,000. That includes a single automated dispensing machine, the employee training, and the cost for the project team in salaries to research and plan for this installation. The resources needed are all employee related, personnel related, so for a project team, the technician training which includes working with the staff at the pharmacy to include them in the planning and redesign of the workflow and then facilities teams to be involved in any needs for the physical, electrical and air conditioning effects of the equipment. <clears throat> what are the impact and risks? They are very minimal. <clears throat> Some of the risks and and the impact is going to be on employees, just the transitioning and the learning curve of a new system. There are times when they may be confused or confusion caused by their new uh, workflow or the new positions they will cover. Monetary is also a risk, though it seems very, the risk very low in this circumstance, there can be things like a slowdown or a lull initially as the equipment is being ramped up or that the return on the investment takes longer than initially had it hoped for. Organizational changes were, will largely impact the pharmacy personnel. They will have to go under training for the new equipment and the workflow restructuring will be the biggest change as their positions may change the flow of the entire process will change. It will also potentially add new services. So it's important to keep the personnel involved so that they can help define these new workflow and positions and what best meets their needs. It is also key to notify the customers that a new system is coming that will give them hope that it will be processed faster and better. The timeline of this project is estimated to take six months. That includes the initial planning phase, researching vendors, interviewing them, and selection of the equipment that would best suit the CVS pharmacy. The executive team approval, all the meetings for redesigning, and that would include the pharmacy staff. That will include the physical redesign and the workflow restructuring. It will include the employee training and the installation and testing down to the going live, estimated to take six months. How will we measure the success of this project? We will use the reporting, many of which are used currently. That is how we knew and identified that there was a problem to begin with. We can use similar reporting. The automated systems work well with reporting and provide much of their own. Some of the key elements will be to determine that prescriptions are truly being fulfilled faster, that the customer loss is reduced. We can determine that by there should be a reduction in prescription transfers. The number of questions asked each month or day by customers should be reduced. The customer wait time should be dramatically reduced and the reduced inventory on hand that should increase the inventory turns and then medical errors uh, should be reduced also. All this is easily definable through reporting. Finally, the recommendation is to install a pharmacy 
fulfillment automation system. This will move CVS into the 21st century and keep them and maintain them as leaders in this industry. Thank you.